it, it's just that this is also such a colossal mess, and I, I'm not really here out of some adolescent jealousy, I promise you. I'm, I'm here because I, I'm worried about Carly and what this is gonna do to her. Okay, I know, and she really has no idea. I know, so just to let you know that I'm also a little bit worried about you and me and, and, and what this is gonna do to us, and I feel kind of embarrassed and guilty even just saying that. I feel the same way. I'm right there with you. You know what, maybe we should just not try to find the perfect place or the perfect time or the right environment. You know, maybe we should just tell Carly flat out, no equivocations, no justifications, no stories. <gasps> when were you planning on telling me that you're sleeping with my sister? Car Carly, this is- It's not what I think. No, and I, I have a, a... A perfectly reasonable explanation? Yes. And what might that be, Craig? Rosanna was upset for interrupting us earlier, and I was trying to comfort her. Do you think that I am an idiot? All I gave up in rehab was my vodka habit. Not my brain, Craig, and not my temper. Carly, the only question is, who gets it first? You for stealing my fiancé? Or you for having sex with my sister? Carly, I am so sorry. I, but I'm glad that you're angry because I was afraid that you would be so upset and that I'd start drinking again. Over this? Over you? Rosanna, I think this is between Carly and me. No, no, I'm not going anywhere. We're in this together. Such devotion. It's so sweet. Although it kind of makes me want to throw up because I know that this is really about payback. This is really about Mike Kasnoff, no, isn't Carly, it? Carly, you're way off the mark here. This has nothing to do with Mike or the past, or any kind of revenge on my part, okay? You came back to town, broke and needy, and you moved into my home, and you and you cozied up to my children? You know what, that's not the way it happened. That's not my game, that's your game. You're the one who plays the nice girl and then stabs somebody in the back. And for your information, if you don't remember, I was married to Craig before you ever- You came told me that you hated him! You never stopped giving me grief when I told you that we were getting married! Well, I was concerned, okay? I was concerned about you! You wanted it for yourself! And the minute that I left for rehab... What? When did it start? What? What? This? You? Did you wait until I was in detox, or did you start getting it on before I left? Carly, we didn't sneak around behind your back. Evidence to the contrary. You bought this for her, didn't you? Yes. While I was in rehab. Carly, we, we didn't even realize how we felt about each other until after you left. After I left, Rosanna, you were supposed to be looking after my kids, not going bump in the night with Craig. It wasn't like that. I promise you it wasn't like that. But why hide it? Why didn't you just tell me? Because you were trying to get sober. We didn't want to interrupt that. I know how hard it was for you to go into rehab. Please don't give me this. We were concerned about you, Bull. You didn't have to lie to me. You didn't have to pretend you hated each other. Oh, trust me, we weren't pretending. You can say that again. I don't know. Maybe it was the flip side of all that hatred. I don't know. Oh, yes. Hate. Well, that's, that's quite an aphrodisiac, right? First you try to kill her, I didn't try and then to you try to her. get her into your bed. Foreplay isn't the same without attempted murder. All right, murder. now you're trying to cheapen this, make it insignificant, and it wasn't. It isn't. We're in love. In love? Carly. So, what you felt for me when you asked me to marry you, when you told me that you wanted to spend the rest of your life with me, that wasn't love. Well, thank you for clearing that up. So you don't love me. And you probably never did. Got it? Where are you going? Out. Away from you. No, please, please, Carly. Listen, you have to understand that I'm so incredibly sorry, and I so wish that I had told you sooner. What was stopping you? You! Carly, you sealed yourself off from us. You wouldn't even let us visit. This is my fault? No, no, you, you needed time alone to heal. And I'm not just telling myself that. But 
when I didn't hear from you for months. I mean, not even a postcard. I can only assume that you were rethinking everything about your life, including our engagement. Oh, what a crook. If you cared at all about what I was thinking, you would have waited and you would have asked me. So what is it? What happened? You finally got me and then you realized that you didn't want me after all? No, that's not what happened. No? And what? I turned out to be a drunk, so you traded up for a classier model, although classier might not be the word to describe you. All right, you. you know what? All right, you can hate me all you want. But lay off Rosanna and everyone else who put you first. You mean everyone else? Oh, Parker. That's why he couldn't even look me in the eye. You dragged my child into this? We didn't want to. Why didn't I listen to Jack? All those times he told me not to trust okay, you. Okay, don't throw Jack into my face. Not after all the times I stopped him from bullying he didn't you. Sniff out what was going on between the two of you. Actually, he did. Jack knew about us weeks ago. Jack knew. There is no way that Jack knew about your affair and didn't tell me. Yes, because you were locked away in that place and you weren't talking to anybody. And we were all trying and obviously failing to do what was best for you. For yourselves, you mean? But Jack isn't like that. He would not let you blindside me like that. I'm going after No, me. no, no, just give her some time. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, don't cry, don't cry. We both knew this was gonna happen. No, we didn't know it was gonna be like this. I mean, we knew she'd find out. It's gonna be okay. Oh, okay. You know, you lost a fiance. You're replacing her with me. I may have lost my sister. You're not a replacement. You're the woman I love. Yeah, maybe Carly is right. You go after things with a vengeance, and then when you get them, you slowly but surely lose interest. Okay, if you want to want to question my staying power, look at my relationship with Johnny. I fought for him. I won him. And I won't give him up. I'd expect you to feel that way about Johnny. He's your flesh and blood, but this is different. I've already lost you. A couple of times. How is this time going to be any different? Because one thing's never changed about me. Years ago, I fell for a stubborn, vulnerable, powerful woman named Rosanna Cabot. And I never got over.